Yes, 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 boys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video on this channel. Today, we're going to react to KSI's rumored next fight. Could be a genius move or a massive, massive, massive mistake um, by the weight concept. I actually never watched this content. I know who he is. Uh, a lot of people know who he is, but I never watched this content, like, uh, in terms of anything. So, yeah, this is my first time reacting to him on this video. Let's go. All right, so we are back, and in today's video, much like my beard, feeling a little shaggy. No, not that shaggy. What I mean is, is Shaggy, Scooby, and the rest of the gang driving down the road in the mystery machine. In other words, I'm looking for a clue. I'm looking for an answer to the question of... Who's KSI's next opponent? You guys remember back True. a couple weeks ago or days ago, I don't quite remember, the times are running together like a three-legged race. We talked about who KSI's next opponent could be. We named Dylan Dennis. We named Tyron Woodley. We named Dr. Mike. But I don't think any of those guys are going to be it. In fact, those names have faded away over the last few days more than an Allen Iverson jump shot back in 03. But there is one name that's starting to creep up. It's on Twitter. People are talking about it on YouTube. Mams Taylor, KSI's manager, has actually said... This would be a fight people may want to see. So hit my drum roll, please, because it's a name you're all going to know. Maybe? Joe Fournier. If you don't know, okay. Joe is apparently a former basketball player, a guy that was a personal gym instructor, a guy that was a personal trainer and then owned a couple gyms and apparently sold those gyms off or the properties of them, became a multi-property mogul, invested in a bunch of stuff, made a ton of money, and decided while doing that he wanted to box. And from that decision, he's gotten some wins. He's been in some pro fights. He's won pro fights. He's undefeated in his pro fights. But does that tell the whole story? Is Joe Fournier a big-time, huge name for KSI, credible opponent, someone that's going to take KSI to his limits, or is he just an average Joe? Breakdown. Let's go. Okay, so Joe Fournier, this is KSI's next opponent. What are the good things, the bad things? Well, the good thing is he's 9-0, and right? That record speaks volumes. That's good. Just take With a look KO at that is 9, wow, that's crazy. Nine fights undefeated. That, for KSI's legitimacy, would be great, right? And I only put quotes up because not the bunny ear stuff and because I'm trying to sound like an asshole. I'm putting him up because the legitimacy is really nothing when it comes to boxing. When you dive into that record, much like most boxers that start their career 10, 15, and 0, there's not a lot of substance there. Joe is a decent boxer. I would say better than decent. Joe can box. There's no doubt about it. He has some skill. But take a look at the records. You're talking about guys with two wins and 24 losses, 11 wins, 41 losses, zero wins, one win. These things aren't necessarily new to boxing, but he still does have some skill. He's still a big guy. He's still apparently a big name, big enough to be on Triller's card twice. Once against, okay. against some musician that I don't think it ever boxed, but the other time was against David Hay. And say what you want about that fight. I know David Hay was not being David Hay as far as going in and trying to murder this guy who was apparently a former sparring partner of his, but... Joe Fournier went eight rounds with David Hay. We're going to talk about Logan going the distance with Floyd. I get it. Different circumstances. Floyd was there to hurt Logan. Him going the full eight with David Hay is a big accomplishment. And no, he lost clearly. And he got dropped with a jab. And it wasn't competitive really at all. David Hay did exactly what he wanted to do with him. But dial it back a second. It's David and Hay. What do I think about Joe? I think he's a good boxer. I don't think he's a world beater, but KSI shouldn't be fighting world beaters. He should be fighting competitive fights. We've talked about this before. So what does yeah. Joe do well? Well, he works the body. I don't know and about comes that, but... With it. Good combinations. He understands okay. the range. He does throw a nice jab. Defensively, there are some holes. He did walk right on to David Hay's jab. Man, it was a sunset was walk on the beach, but that'll happen when you face higher level guys. He does look like he wants to put pace forward, but his gas tank, especially now being closer to 40, is a little bit of an issue. And I don't want to hear anyone saying anything about his age because this is still a competitive fight. At the end of the day, Jake Anderson, KSI Joe Fournier, KSI Tyron Woodley, those are competitive fights. And sure, the age will factor into it, but so will the inexperience and ability of some of our YouTube boxers. The scale tips both ways. My point in all this to say okay. is Joe Fournier is a credible opponent for KSI. Yes, he's beat up on some trash cans. That's, again, part of boxing. It happens. I'm not going to go over every time someone has a great record against guys that are trash because it's the sport. It's what happens. I don't like it. You don't like it. It is what it is. But... He's right there with, I would say, the most competitive guy KSI could fight right now, and that is Tyron Woodley as far as oh, yes. the most dangerous be sick. KSI. I think Joe, with his experience, with his ability to actually box, again, 
not the best in the world, but he can get in there and get it done. He's knocked out one, two, three, four, five, six guys, seven guys, TKOs. So yes, he has power. Yes, he can put it on you. Yes, he can throw combinations. Yes, he can credibly box. And if you're KSI and looking for a legitimate challenge and guys like Dylan Dennis, who apparently is trying Not to go rogue guy, on Bellator and Scott Coker had no idea he's trying to sign contracts because, well, that's what he said in a press conference. Or a guy like Tyron Woodley, which it doesn't look like they're going to try to pursue that fight. Maybe they are. I don't know. But hasn't been a lot of talk around that. And again, we do have a lot of time until January. But maybe they're waiting for Slim and seeing what happens with him and Ryan Taylor. Same thing with yeah. Dr. Mike. But if you are going Ryan Taylor to go the route of Joe again. Poirier, I can't say I hate it. In fact, it's in five days, actually, so that's crazy. That fight because it provides competition, credible, legitimate competition at KSI's level or maybe even a challenge that KSI maybe wouldn't see with some of the other guys which again is what you look for stepping up the levels and Boom. apparently he's a big enough Bean. name to bring in on a main event scene like that it doesn't really matter though because it's KS fucking I he could be fighting the fucking janitor or the local man oh my god he done the district and summer is over and people Crazy. will still pay to watch. And talking to KSI, I know he wants to get to Jake. I, I I see his mindset. I see his hunger. You guys may not see it, but I, I've talked to the guy. He genuinely wants to get there. So you're going to have to do it through competition. Maybe not the biggest names, but KSI's name is bigger than anyone else's. Joe Fournier is a great option. Is he the best? I don't know. That's for you guys to decide. So let me know down below. But the question will still remain. I hope Woodley. KSI's next opponent. Woodley Who is it going to be? That would be have a sick those point. answers, but January's coming soon. Summer's over, but winter's here, and I guess we'll find out. Dub. Crazy. Um, yeah, good video to see. Um, it is what it is. If I want to see a big fight, I will possibly pick uh, 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 Woodley against KSI. Because I think, personally, that's where also Jake Paul is less fight it was Tyron Woodley so if there would be a pretty competitive thing if he will fight uh, Woodley but yeah you know what you never know what's gonna happen so yeah great video great great video and uh, yeah nice good to see